It was a lot to do in too short a period of time, I think. We expected it to take, I guess, about two months or something. I, I think we probably needed six months for it. I mean, or maybe it would have been a year-long project. It was a large subject to tackle, and then there were so many parts to it. And also, you know, their prior knowledge um, wasn't what it needed to be to jump right into things in biology, for example. So we had to go back and learn all of that as well. And then for muscling, we had, then instead of saying skinny, ripped instead of saying muscling, I don't know. And we have not worked on presentation skills at all. Um, we have not been using rubrics to grade their oral presentations before either, and that's something that we were developing through this project and realized that it was something that we really need to spend a lot of time on, is public speaking generally, and how you do it and how you prepare for it. So the fact that the students knew the information and could sit and tell me the information didn't mean that they could stand up in front of the whole group and say the information because they were nervous and they have to account for that. Their judgment of their intellectual character well, presentation skills are, are important and it's part of the language arts curriculum. No it really wasn't part of this project race. and we've known for a long time that we don't spend a lot of time on it. And I think what's happened in a lot of public schools in New Jersey is, well, they don't test on presentation skills. Our school doesn't get put on that list of non-performing schools if the kids can't do public speaking. And so the teachers just tend to naturally emphasize, you know, written work. So what are we looking at? What, what's the difference between the male and female images? What I wanted them to do is, after we had gone through all this material, to express what they had learned in some sort of concrete form in, a, in, a, in, in media. And they had some background in media. They had written scripts in the past. Um, they wrote a newspaper last year. So I wanted them to have a, a product which we can assess. So I laid the groundwork and talked about a lot of gender-related subjects for a couple of weeks, but I think I would have had them think about the product right from the start, think of the concrete expression right from the start so that they could have been thinking ahead more than, than they did. So if I was to do it over again, I would change that. Is there the 24th a full day? No, there's no school the 24th. Oh, so that was a typo on my part. Today's the the most challenging part turned out to be the management, um, meeting deadlines, meeting milestones, uh, making sure that that stuff happens, uh, building in time for all of the things that happened. I mean, we had three snow days, I think, during the course of this project. Who would have thought, you know, in February, March, that we were going to have snow days like that? So we lost some time, and we found ourselves in that mode that we hate to be in, which is the let's just get it done mode. the charter school and the kids are, we're the real winners in all of this. I mean, uh, we now have four staff members, um, really more, who um, have direct experience in the Buck model of project-based learning. We think it's a great model. It's very robust. It's very complete. We've made some, some good mistakes that we're going to learn from and we're going to take with us. Uh, we developed a project which I think has enormous potential, um, both for us and if we disseminate it to other schools. Um, for giving our kids um, a way of thinking about gender that's really going to serve them very well. How many people think that it's mostly culture about gender roles? In other words, you're not necessarily born with it, but you're taught it. 